Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Raya and I make videos on conscious living, anything from sustainability to personal growth and conscious travel. And in today's video, I will be breaking down what carbon offsetting is, how to do it, and I will be offsetting my flights from this entire year. If you didn't see the video I posted last week, I talked all about how to be more sustainable when you travel, and one of the biggest ways is of course to reduce your travel as much as possible, especially when it comes to flying, and making better choices, whether that's carpooling or using a train or public transportation, there's so many different ways to be smarter about how you travel, and after you've done all of that, it's pretty inevitable that you will find that you still have to travel, and this is something you can do to offset the carbon that you use when you do. So what is carbon offsetting? Carbon offsetting is investing in environmental projects. This can be anything from building new solar installations to planting trees. Is carbon offsetting enough? And the answer is no, not really. It's more like a band-aid on the problem. Every time we travel in a way that is not human powered, we are causing damage to the environment. And the way we travel, of course, determines how much of an impact we have, but the best thing you can do is to reduce your travel as much as you can. Basically, offsetting is a great tool to be used alongside reducing your carbon footprint, but not instead of it. There are so many options for you to choose from when it comes to carbon offsetting. I'll link a few in the description for you to check out, but you can totally do your own research and see what you connect with. As I mentioned before, you can contribute to building solar installations, wind farms, you can plant trees, you can support local environmental groups, and so much more. The organization that I've chosen to support this whole month through the fundraiser that you may have seen on my channel, I think it's under this video, or to the left or right, depending on where you're watching this, they are One Tree Planted and they are amazing. They work with partners from all around the world to choose the best species to plant, and they partner with local communities to get them in the ground. So today I will be calculating my carbon use for this year, usually I wait till the end of the year to calculate calculate my whole year's worth, but I'm doing it now for you guys just to show you how I do it, and then I will be donating personally my carbon offsets to the fundraiser under this YouTube video. And I would love to challenge you guys to calculate your carbon use, either for the year like I'm doing, or you could do just for your last flight. Honestly, anything helps, and if everyone watching this video could at least offset for the last flight they took, we would hit our goal so, so quickly. And if you're wondering how to calculate how much carbon you've used, let me show you how I do it. There are tons of different websites that you can use to do this, but I personally like TerraPass. So I will share my screen with you guys right now so you can see what I'm doing. As you can see, you can choose individual calculator. And over here, you can see that you can calculate your vehicle use, your public transit, air travel, and home energy. So I'm gonna click on air travel, and you can either do it by specific flights, number of miles traveled, gallons of fuel, average trip length. I'm personally gonna do specific flights, and I've written all the flights that I've taken. So here we go. First up, I went from LA to New York, and this is a round trip flight. Next. So as you can see, that's just under $16, and this is totally doable because you probably spent a couple hundred dollars to buy a flight like this in the first place. Adding another $16 to the top is totally accessible to most people. So again, if you guys can just calculate your last flight, it would probably be something like this, around $20 or less, and it would make a huge difference because then you'd be planting like 20 trees, which is great. Anyway, that was my first flight. Next, add another flight from LAX to Bali. Next up, I went to Hawaii, Kona specifically, okay. Next up, I went to El Salvador. And then I did a one way, make sure you double check up here whether you're pressing one way or round trip. I went to London one way. London. Next up was a one way from London to Madrid for my friend's wedding. I don't remember exactly which airport, but it doesn't make a big difference. Next up was a one way from Madrid to Bulgaria, although I actually flew into Romania because it's closer to my hometown. 
and definitely make sure you watch my video on the tips on how to fly more sustainably but as you can see here I flew into Europe for an event that we had in London and then we ended up extending our stay in London to see Louis family and our friends there and then we had a wedding in Spain and then I went to visit my family in Bulgaria so that's one big tip is if you are traveling across the world to get to an event or a wedding or something try to extend your stay as much as you can so I ended up visiting tons of family and friends and going to a wedding and doing a work event all in one trip instead of flying there flying back flying there flying back so that is one way to be a bit more sustainable next up I did a one-way from Bucharest again to Colombia. Hmm. I think I have to type in the city. The summer was pretty crazy for travel for me, but like I said earlier, I did as much as I could to make the most out of the travels that I did do and the places that I did go. So then I went home. I went to Berlin for a job. And then I went from Berlin to London, and I went home. Then I went to Montana, and then we drove down to Jackson Hole, and then flew there from there back home. And lastly, we went to Toronto for Buffer Festival. So there we have it. That's all my flights for this year, and that is $222. That is how I offset my flights for the year, and I will now be donating $222 to the fundraiser that you see down below. And again, if you could calculate your carbon use even just for the last flight and try to donate that to the fundraiser, that would make such a huge difference. So thank you guys so much. And like I said in other videos, of course, the best thing you can do is to reduce your travel as much as you can. And I've actually reduced my travel quite a bit. I know this seems like a lot of flights, but this is what I do for a living. Also, my family and friends are scattered all over the world, so I do have to travel to be able to visit them, but I'm definitely trying to be as smart as I can, make the most of my travels when I do, and reduce how much I travel in general. I've actually turned down quite a few free and paid trips this year already because I didn't want to fly all the way around the world for a couple of days like some of these opportunities were. So I'm definitely doing to reduce what I can where I can, but please remember that everyone has their own journey, their own story. Some of you maybe drive to work an hour or two every day, and I don't do that, I don't even have a car. So everyone has their own journey, everyone's doing their own thing. And the only thing we can do is be kind to each other and celebrate every step that people take to live more sustainably. So that's what I hope that you guys will do with me and that is what I wanna do with you. I love you guys so much, thank you so much for watching. If you missed the video where I talked about tips on how to fly more sustainably, I will link that right here, so check that out. And I will see you guys very soon, Mwah. bye.